Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here to share with you the new Amy Tangerine Better Together collection or what I have of it. So I'm going to jump right into the papers. This one is called Salt and Pepper and it's just a really pretty like kind of ombre heart and then solid on the back. This one is called Blogs and Coffee and I love this bold navy and white stripe. This one is called Sun and Moon which is a stripe and a polka dot which again I really love. And this one is called Ladies and Gentlemen. Um, I think the names are so cute because it's two things, you know, that are better together. Anyhow, so I'm going to go into the embellishments now. And this is the 6x12 or 12x12 sticker sheet if you open it up. And one of the things I like about the Amy Tangerine stickers is that they're clear or somewhat clear. It's kind of, they're not like on cardstock. Um, and these have a ton of gold foil and some really cute images. Those little donuts are adorable. And I like the hummingbird. I think that's neat. The record player, there's some real like retro imagery in this collection that I think is fun. Lots of words on those stickers. Um, and then there's also a kind of a throwback item because there used to be these sticker books in most American Crafts collections and they haven't had them for a little bit. And I'm so glad that they brought them back. So they fold over like this. And I think there's like eight sheets in here. But you get a nice mix of like kind of journaling spots and labels. A lot of places to write on or to like put your date or something on. They're not so much like um, embellishments as they are more functional. Some of them are. Like there's some hearts and stars. There's a little alphabet. Um, and then days of the week, which I think is fun. And then a little bit of imagery here, which is also really cute. So that is the sticker book. I can't remember how many are in there, but there's a bunch of stickers. It's one of the most, like, I think, bang for your buck kind of products. And then this is the ephemera pack, and it's really cute. There's a mix of, like, acetate pieces and also cardstock pieces, and I'm going to show you what's in there close up now. Um, really bright collection. I really do like it. I feel like I tend to use pastel colors more, so that's why I didn't get a whole lot of the papers and stuff, but I do think that these are fun. So you can see how bright it is here. And like I said, there's a lot of words, a lot of sayings in this collection, which I tend to sometimes have a hard time using that kind of ephemera. Um, I kind of like the more like generic ephemera, if you will, things that you can mix and match and use with anything that's not so specific to a certain color scheme or a certain collection or a certain type of line, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes any sense or not, but anyways, they're just really pretty. I think this will be a lot of fun. If you do, if you're into planners, there's a lot of really cute things like that pizza that would be so cute in a planner or this like drink. Um, I think in project life, I just, th I think it's a fun collection. I don't know how much I would use some of these images in like a scrapbooking layout, but I think that you can definitely find a use for them. So this was really cute. It has the word love that you can punch out. You could also use those letters because of the way that they're they're done. It's like a solid O and everything. And then you could also back that little embellishment if you wanted to with like some pattern paper, which would be really cute. This is a cute kind of ombre card that says family, the little envelopes. Remember, and it's a lot of it is in Amy Tan's like um, watercolor brush writing that she does, which I love. She's so good at that and making it look so easy. She makes it look so easy. So there's also some very classic like Amy Tan imagery, you know, like the, um, the camera and just things that you can look at this collection and go, oh, that's an Amy Tan collection. <laughs> Please excuse my voice. I have a bit of this winter cold that's going around. I like how everything is kind of soft because it's got a watercolor like a theme to it. There's not really any harsh lines. Everything is kind of outlined in this sort of blue color instead of black. So everything's just really soft and I think that will make it really easy to use. So that is everything from this collection. I've hope, I hope that you enjoy this. I'll have links below to all the products and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.